work a lot the other day. He's been on this camera. That's the last picture we got of him. Well, it's Tuesday, January 3rd, and we are back down at the River Bottom Farm. I'm actually in the same blind I hunted last night. We moved this blind here. Uh, it's a redneck blind on a trailer, and this is the south corn plot. This is where Kelsey's been the most active, and so I just feel like, um, you know, with the countdown to the end of the season in play, I need to spend as much time as I can sitting in this blind. We're doing something a little bit different today. We're, we're doing the old divide and conquer. Uh, Bella has shown interest or started talking about wanting to get back after Big Mac after taking a few days off. And so um, Rye has taken Bella back to the home farm tonight. She's got today and tomorrow before she has to get back to school. And so she is, uh, they went to the home farm, they're sitting at the cherry tree, hoping Big Mac will show up. And then I've got Gavin with me tonight and we're down at the, the river bottom farm, as I mentioned, trying to get Kelsey conditions are not very good it's the warmest day of late season uh, thus far it's mid 50s um, but it was rainy and foggy all morning and the sun just peaked out so um, hopefully that gets a deer moving even though it is a little bit warmer and one of the warmest days last week which was probably 48 or something like that I had I had Kelsey in daylight on this plot an hour before dark so um, you just can't count anything out and as they say you can't kill from the couch so with with only a handful of days left, I figured we'd come sit and we've got a southwest wind, which blows this, blows our wind kind of back up this tree line, which is not perfect for this blind, but it's it's good enough to catch the movement out of the peninsula. This kind of classic movement pattern we talked a lot about. A lot of these deer are bedded back in the peninsula and they'll just work their way through this food pot and on. Where I could see us getting into trouble potentially is the first group of deer if they get past us and get our win, they could ruin the hunt, but I'm just willing to take that chance. I mean, I've got the Ozonics outside on the porch trying to capture whatever scent might escape from the blind, and hopefully that works. Got a few hours to go. Looking forward to the set.
there's more behind him. Yeah, yeah, back behind the piles. Yeah. yeah, I see them all kind of meandering around. another fun sit in the books you know last night when we sat here the wind was swirly it was the east wind muggy the deer were on edge all night we only saw you know a handful of deer and none of them stayed around and tonight you know you just you feel the pressure rising you the sun came out it rained all morning like i mentioned earlier and uh i mean when they started moving our first deer were about 3 30 we had a few does come but then they just piled out we had 25 deer coming to the food plot mostly small bucks and does. And then uh, right at the end there, we had daggers pop out. And we actually saw him last night back in the pinch, but some does ran off and he followed him. I'm not sure if he chased them or if they had spooked or what, but we didn't get any footage of him. So he's he's moved back into this area, which I'm not used to seeing him over here. And then we haven't seen Kelsey. So I'm gonna have to try to get back to the drawing board and figure out where Kelsey might be coming out. Our weather is going to get better um, moving on into the week, so we'll see. Hopefully I can get some pictures and that, that'll help point me in the right direction. But all the other deer came out into the plot and sat there and fed. And we actually, I was talking with Gavin about getting Gavin to shoot daggers. He's a great mature buck. I think he's a six-year-old. And uh, as we're talking about this, he just picked up and started walking. And he got right through all of our windows over here and didn't like something. And... Uh, as we were trying to switch cameras and get the gun up and all that, he, um, you know, he he ran over to the other food plot. So, didn't quite work out. I do think that we can probably get him down if he continues this pattern of being in this area. But another another fun hunt. I know that Bella and Rye were having fun too. They were seeing lots of deer. I, I have not got any word that Big Mac uh, came out, but they were at least seeing deer. So, it's good on a 55 degree day to have uh, such good movement. But, We'll be back out tomorrow and hopefully we can have some luck then. <laughs>